As promised in the last module, here is the module that deals with the hash character, often known as the pound symbol. The hash character is used to create a comment. So what's a comment? Well, a comment is a piece of human readable text that you add to your scripts to make the script more understandable. Inserting a comment into your script is like leaving a little note to yourself either a note to yourself or to somebody else who happens to be reading the script. Some other programmer perhaps who needs to understand how your script works so they can make modifications to it. Technically a comment is any part of a line of a script that follows a hash character. In other words when the shell sees the hash character it ignores the character and everything else after it on the line meaning you can follow a hash character with anything you like and it will all be completely ignored by the shell. Now the way obviously that you use that is you put little explanatory text in there, little notes to yourself, little reminders of things that you still have to do, anything at all of course, and the shell will happily ignore all of it. Let's have a look at an example. I've accented in bold the two comments in the excerpt of text that you see below you. The first of the two lines begins with a hash and so the entire line is just a comment. The second line actually does something useful and then it has a hash afterwards. So the hash and everything else after the hash is ignored on that line. Now you can see that the, the first comment and the second comment both tend to explain what's going on. The first comment tells the user or tells the reader of the script what we're about to try and do and the second comment explains exactly how we're doing it. Let's have a look at a more concrete real lifelike example. Here is a script that I wrote. It's quite a few lines long. It's uh, several hundred lines long in fact and it's completely uncommented or rather it was commented but I removed all the comments just to make a point. So if I look through this file now, I can scroll down a bit, scrolling down. Now, it may actually be obvious to some people what this script is doing, but then again it may not, and especially lines like that one in the middle there. So what we do is we add comments to that line, to that file, to make it more understandable. Let me show you exactly the same file now, but with the comments left in. And so you get a full description and so on. You get a description of every variable, see what the functions are, see what they all do, and a little exp explanatory text surrounding almost every significant piece of, piece of code. So hopefully even people who don't understand shell scripting all that well will be able to tell exactly what the script is doing it and perhaps even how it's doing it. That's pretty much all there is to say about comments but I do want to stress before we move on that comments are vitally important. They really are. They're any reasonably experienced software engineer will know that a fully uncommented piece of code is virtually unmaintainable. If someone gave me a 300 line script and said I need to fix the bugs in this script or perhaps add some new features without comments to explain to me exactly how the code was going about doing what it was doing it might actually take me less time to write a new version of the script rather than try and figure out how the original software engineer developed it in the first place. The actual fix may have only taken me 10 minutes but it may have taken me three or four hours to try and figure out where and how to make the fix if there were no comments. Most people who've never programmed it before, they completely ignore comments, considering them to be a waste of time. It's only when you come back six months later and pick up a piece of the code that you wrote and try and figure out how you did what you did, and this is your code we're talking about, not somebody else's, that you begin to realize how comments are so important. In fact, the irony of it is that comments are even more important when you're learning shell programming or any type of programming because when you become truly experienced in your programming you find it much easier to understand how a program is doing what it's doing. That's not to say that comments are no longer necessary. Of course they are, but they become somewhat less necessary. So in a nutshell, 
you are strongly encouraged to comment all your code, all of it. And I'll say no more about that.